if Kyler Murray sees what's going on in baseball, this kind of contract, even though he's completed his pro day last week, teams say or speculations that he's rising up the draft boards. You know, how can he just look at that contract and say, you know what, I'm still all in with football? Well, Kirk, it's a great, great question, but I guess the point I would make is that uh, Kyler Murray, um, when he went to Oklahoma right. and he played baseball, he was a obviously a top prospect and a very good prospect. But to compare, even though he was the ninth pick in the MLB draft last year, but to compare his future uh, possibility in baseball to football, I think is probably uh, is probably really taking uh, a giant leap of faith toward baseball for this reason. Okay, like he, he played a lot in one year. Okay, so like his first year that he played it at Oklahoma, he only had forty nine at bats. Um, and he didn't play a lot. He only hit 122. That was 2017. <clears throat> the reason I know this is that I looked it up, and I was really, really surprised that, okay, so his his big baseball year at Oklahoma in the spring of 2018, a year ago, okay, his big baseball season, he batted 296. Mm. And he played every day. He played all the time, but he batted 296. Uh, he had all this speed. He stole 10 bases, uh, and he had 10 home runs. And I'm not saying that's bad a- at all. I- I'm-, I'm really not. But he played 50-something games. And and I'm-, I'm just making the point that Kyler Murray was taken by the Oakland A's because they thought that if he devoted all his time to baseball, that he had a very good chance to be a very good player. But honestly, there were no guarantees whatsoever about Kyler Murray in baseball. You watch him in football, and uh, other than the fact he's 5'10 and an eighth, <laughs> other than that, it's kind of hard to believe that, that anybody could have any real doubts about whether he'll make it or not. I don't have many. And again, who knows? Anything could happen. But I think he looks at this, and he likes football more. So I don't, I don't know why the Mike Trout contract today would have him sitting, putting his thinking cap on, and say, "I've made a terrible mistake by picking football." <laughs> I don't, I don't think in any way is he saying that. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.